Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Vision of Joe here and I'm bringing a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this edit on the screen. I'm going to show a quick before and after of my uh, final edit to the original image that I used for this. Um, it was a fairly easy step. This one didn't take me a while. It's just a lot of lighting and um, blurring and whatnot and uh, repainting the hair back in. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, and we're going to hop straight into this. As you can see, uh, we started off with our background image. I went on Google and I found this background image. Um, so then uh, this is where all the madness started. Uh, I'm going to open up this folder here. And as you guys can see, it's all a lot of simple lighting, uh, like uh, lighting stuff. So I'm going to show you guys step by step what I did to get everything to pop and whatnot. So just give me two seconds. I unchecked all my layers that I used to paint everything in. So first of all, we start off with the curve just so we can match our model with the background and kind of get the correct lighting to, you know, match everything. Um, Actually, before we even did that, we added our background lighting. So here's our background. So our first step was we got our model in, and then we added these this curve to uh, kind of get the lighting correct with the background. So next, we added um, some lighting in the background to just go with like all the colors going on to make it pop a little more. So we added some reds in the corner, some blues on the top right. And then this was like our main lighting thing, just so we can uh, kind of keep the same yellows as the signs going on here, the blue lights around the image. And then a little more reds on the side just added an exposure to and I'm pretty sure we just uh, brought down the gamma and that was it just to make things pop more and get more darkness in the background my first step is I blackened up um, some parts of our model here um, next we added some lighting to the right side of the image it's just uh, just like a starter to get the blues to pop a little more uh, next we did some white lights to get um, just kind of make things pop a little more than they already were uh, more white and then we got into the blue so we can match our um, the lighting on the right side coming off of here so we wanted it to reflect on the model so we just kept going along with the blues here just to fill everything up that would um, flow with the image and our background to make things make sense obviously and to make our model uh, our main sequence of focus go make sense so as you guys can see we're just each step I was just painting the lights in just to make things look realistic obviously we moved to the hair um, more blues up here to match the blue lights coming off the tower um, I, obviously uh, this is all just like lighting like I said before we're trying to make things pop so I'm it's not really I don't really have to explain it all so if you just follow along and just see what's going on here we're just adding lights to each part of where the light the lights are coming in on the pic these are empty layers so next we add in an exposure to make the background pop more and to make our model pop more uh, and then we added we uh, painted in some vignetting uh, so we can get our dark spots to add up and uh, darken up some of the light spots on the bottom that were a little too much so this is um, the process where my main color correction started to begin first we did our uh, background and model color correcting then we added some clarity to the eyes if you pay attention closely you'll be able to see the changes we did and then next we try to I don't know, try to give this like dust effect. So I was gonna add all these around the our model just to make things pop more and like give it a cool effect, but I didn't. So we just went with these ones, these simple ones that are going on over here. For that, I believe we did a selective color on our model because you could see the tones were kind of gross. So we wanted to make those seem a little bit more realistic and bring back or get rid of the yellows. So next, we added some exposure. I think this was just for the background. This might be as a whole just to get things to pop a little more. I use exposure a lot. It brings life to your edits in my opinion so as you guys can see here it's already looking really good and i don't think we did much more we added another vignette uh our next one was to merge everything that was in this group uh and then we started off here by just doing some simple stuff i'll show you guys what we did we did another selective color on the face to get rid of the yellows some brightness to the lips more selective color i think on just everything as a whole and then this is where we started getting rid of the dark spots on the face that I didn't like. This was more, more or less kind of the last part of our edit that we did here. So what I did was I clicked on, I made a new layer. I'll show you guys step by step. Made a new layer. Uh, I right clicked here. Or what, actually, I double clicked right here. I'm sorry. And then we um, turned the transparency, transparency shapes layer and then we unchecked it. And then we did a color dodge and then we hit B on our keyboard grabbed a white brush and then we just honestly we just started painting away right here on the, like the dark spots it kind of gives it the glow effect and we did this and then we just turned down the opacity to get rid of the dark spots 
But that was obviously just a quick example. That's not how fast I went. And then we did it again on the eyes. We're obviously just these blue lights just to make them pop a little more. Um, and I believe after that, there wasn't much more left that we did. Um, I think we did, yeah, we did a little bit more in Lightroom uh, just to make things pop more. We uh, brought up the lights by doing this. Um, we got the layer we didn't use. We went into Lightroom, went under our tone curves, and then we just brought the lights up a little more to, you know, make things pop. That's honestly one of my favorite tools to use, and I, I highly recommend it if that's what you're trying to do with, like, this kind of lighting effect we got going on here. And we added some more exposure and I believe a little bit of gamma. No, that was just an exposure layer. Next, uh, we brightened things up even more. The exposure and a curve, this layer is nothing. Next, we added another curve just to the model's face. Um, a little bit more exposure to the background, excluding her face. Because it's already super bright and we wanted to make the hair a little bit brighter and leaving the face how it is. Uh, I was going to do another brightness layer, but I believe I didn't. And then after the exposure layer, that was really it. I just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough on how we did this edit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. Uh, if you want to see more videos from me, uh, please let me know down below. Make sure you follow me on all social medias. Links will be in the description. Comment on the video if you want to see other tutorials, because we definitely can do it. Like I said, I just wanted to show you guys a walkthrough because this honestly is one of my favorite edits. Uh, I forgot to show me painting in the hair, but if you look closely, it's obviously not the best job, but we wanted to make things look more realistic because this was the original image and the hair isn't the same, but you know, I had to paint some flyaways, flyaways in and blur them out a little bit just to give it that real aspect of thing. If you want to see more, let me know down below. Make sure you follow me on all social medias, especially Instagram. We just hit 80k, so I want to thank you guys so much. Uh, new content soon. I'm going to try and keep uploading. Thank you guys again. It's, your been, it's been your boy Vision Joe. I'm out, guys. Peace.